the rookie quarterback out of Oklahoma, previously Alabama, will now be starting for the Philadelphia Eagles for the foreseeable future, possibly? We don't know yet. At least for this week against the New Orleans Saints, who more than likely will be without Drew Brees, like we mentioned. But Jalen Hurts will be facing what is a top 10 defense in the Saints this week. Is this a good move or a bad move by the Philadelphia Eagles? He went 5 for 12, 198 yards, one touchdown, and one interception versus the Green Bay Packers after Doug Peterson elected to bench Carson Wentz with the lack of success that he's been having, not just for that game, but for the whole 2020 season. Hertz is now the starting quarterback for the time being. When asking Doug Peterson his thoughts on Jalen Hurts starting for the remainder of the season over Carson Wentz, this is what Doug Peterson had to say. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict the future, right? I mean, come on. That's all I can focus is today and getting our team prepared today and getting our guys ready for Sunday. So he is not committed to Jalen Hurts moving forward past this Sunday. I want to hear from you guys. Do you guys believe that this is a right move by Doug Peterson, by the Philadelphia Eagles to finally give Jalen Hurts an opportunity to be a starting quarterback this uh, late in the season. Actually, as a matter of fact, this late in the season, week 14, is the latest that any Philadelphia Eagles rookie quarterback has started in their franchise history, at least uh, from 1950 on, because that's when they started keeping track of that stat. This is a good trial run. This is a good trial run to see what you got with Jalen Hurts. And I know a lot of people, when Jalen Hurts was drafted, were thinking, okay, he's going to go ahead and dethrone Carson Wentz for the starting job. But then there were many other people that said, no, 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 no. Carson Wentz is still good. We still believe that he can play at that MVP level that he once was at. He just needs the right weapons. He needs a lot of these players to get back from these injuries. And a lot of that is true. It really is. And a lot of that did affect his performance this year but at this point week 14 it is time to move on it really is I made a video earlier this season uh, that was talking about how Carson Wentz first off I I, I was a flip-flopper I said that Carson Wentz a lot of people are downgrading him a lot of people are down talking to him he just needs the right pieces around him and then he can be that good productive quarterback and maybe that's still true but then later on I came out with a video after that Sunday night game talking about him playing the the Dallas Cowboys, he just made these throws that just did not look great. It looked like he was doing way too much to make up for a team that doesn't have much. Just interception after fumble, after uh, not throwing the ball away and just costing his team eight yards from a sack and it's just causing them to, to turn it over or punt it and a loss of possession, whatever it may be. Carson Wentz was just slowly just adding on to the decline of the Philadelphia Eagles. And I really hate to say that. I really do. Because I'm a Carson Wentz fan. And I don't know what his future is going to look like. I don't know if he's going to get traded. Now, a lot of people are talking about the Indianapolis Colts. Because of his connections with Frank Reich. Because he loves hunting. So Indianapolis, Indiana. You know, that's it's around that area. But I don't know what the future is going to hold for Carson Wentz. I don't know if he's going to succeed uh, with any other team. But at least this year in 2020. From just what I see. It was time to move on. It is. It's it's time to see what you have in that rookie quarterback. A lot of people wanted this Wentz and Jalen Hurts combination to be like uh, Drew Brees and Taysom Hill. How do you believe that Jalen Hurts is going to do for the remainder of the season? Because if we want to talk about the schedule and their, their chances of making uh, the postseason, because they're still in the running to win the NFC East, believe it or not, at 3-8-1 being the record. The remaining schedule, New Orleans this week, they face Arizona, then they face Dallas, and then face the New York Giants. Out of those games, is it a possibility that they could win maybe two, three? Yeah, I mean, you could beat Washington. You could beat Dallas. And if you pull off an upset against maybe Arizona, who hasn't been looking that great with a Kyler Murray shoulder or Kyler Murray shoulder injury that he's been suffering, has been leading to the decline recently for the Cardinals? Maybe. But it's not probable. So at this point, you're more than likely out. And I kind of see the thinking behind uh, Jalen Hurts starting. Like, hey, we do have a chance of making the postseason. But what we need is more so a spark, number one, if we want to have a chance to make it. And number two, like I said, trial run. Just see what you have so you can make a decision on Carson Wentz and the $25 million guaranteed 
that he's going to be making in 2021. Leave your comments down below. I want to hear your thoughts. Jalen Hurts, is that the right move or not?